Yo, what's going on, you guys? Chris Wrestling Views, of course, here on YouTube.com. If you watch this on TikTok, Chris944. So, you guys, WWE. So, the one before you guys watch this video, if you watch NXT, watch this video. If you don't watch NXT, you know, you can just skip it, you know, go ahead and click off the video now. Uh, but it's going to be more wrestling news into this video. So, WWE NXT Battleground was slated to be on May the 26th of, uh, May the 26th of, you know, next month or whatever. But, you guys, now WWE had to do that because AEW Double or Nothing will be appearing on that same, um, on that same day and everything. So, WWE had to think of something that would be, you know, to make it bigger and, and more spontaneous and everything. I know you guys did see the uh, the thumbnail for this video. So, UFC will be having NXT in their building at the, at the UFC Apex in Las Vegas on Sunday, June the 9th. I will definitely be watching that 100%, you guys. Uh, so, uh, it says here, the groundbreaking event marks the WWE inaugural, um, venue, the state of the art, which that building is 130,000 square foot, uh, re-owned for hosting UFC fight night events. I mean, y'all ever, I know most of you guys that are watching this video that is UFC fans, y'all seen how big this, um, uh, arena is and how many people it can definitely hold. <clears throat> Now, think of you having a house that's 130,000 square feet. I mean, you'll have a room for, like, everybody. But it goes on to say, you guys, WWE Senior Vice President of Talent Development Creativity, well, Creative, uh, Shawn Michaels, uh, said, you know, he's very, um, you know, he's very happy about this. He's trying to get NXT out there. He's trying to get, you know, some of the, um, you know, UFC uh, fighters, fans, and everything to, you know, you know, be along into this uh, NXT, NXT uh, event because, man, this is going to be phenomenal. I really hope that we can, you know, get TNA to combine with this, uh, to combine with WWE in some kind of way to join into NXT. And this will be definitely be a phenomenal time to actually do that. And uh, Triple H, Shawn Michaels, Bruce Prichard, um, Nick Khan, is doing some phenomenal things. Ari Hawani, The Rock, they're doing something phenomenal with WWE. They're not downing nobody. Um, some of the superstars that were there, um, you know, before they took, you know, before TKO uh, bought the company uh, from, you know, Vinnie Mac, but they are, de you know, they are definitely doing, you know, something uh, very, um, very creative, and it's, you know, it's. Definitely making it pretty good, you guys. And so I feel definitely uh, good about this. Uh, WWE doing this move with the NXT brand. And I know these superstars are definitely going to show out. So, you guys, next wrestling news I got for you today will be Von Wagner. He has been released by the WWE. Um, so he was also slated, you guys, to be called up to either the uh, Raw or SmackDown roster. Uh, I said his real name is Cal Bloom. And um, they said he was actually um, re he was actually released last week along with the uh, you know along with others, but the news didn't get out until today about him being released. And so I mean, he y'all probably seen him standing. Uh, y'all probably seen the guy. He's kind of odd, like, but um, but yeah, I I don't think they would have probably did much with him. But then again, I mean, shoot. I mean, it's no more Von Wagner, you guys. I mean, I guess Lexus King is the man, you know, as someone says in the comments on, um, you know, under this. But, yeah, you guys, uh, he's supposed to be slated to join either the Raw or SmackDown roster. <clears throat> now, let me know what you guys thinking about think about this right here. Goldberg crit uh, criticized AEW of being too cheesy uh, for his... Um, preferences regarding his, regarding his in-ring return so he pretty much said that the product aew in general is just cheesy and let me see what's his whole story of what he has to say here um hold on one second you guys so he said i talked with tony Khan a number of times throughout the past but you know this is where um you're gonna get 
the most blunt answer you're going to get from me. The product is too cheesy. The product is too cheesy. It doesn't uh, deserve to have, I mean, whatever I mean, now you're really going to get me going. But if there was a comparable, um, you know, competitor that he could actually fight. I mean, you got numerous people uh, who go back and fight. I mean, he can fight, he can fight uh, a Jusuke Okada, depending on if he comes in as a heel or a face. I mean, he can fight some more Joe some. I mean, you got a lot of talent that, that is coming from every which way, whether it's like, whether it's like uh, from New Japan that's coming to AEW or whether they come in from wherever they're coming from, Goldberg has plenty of opportunity to actually do this. But, you know, he definitely, you know, would love to have like another match. But I kind of don't like Goldberg. I kind of don't like Goldberg because he put um, Undertaker on his head that one time. I think they fought at WrestleMania or something. He dropped him in on his head and it kind of... Um, you know, it kind of made me not like Goldberg. But uh, also, you guys, notable WWE uh, Raw stars are set to appear on SmackDown uh, this week on Friday, which is the first part of the WWE draft. So it says the uh, the WWE draft is set to make a grand return this week with a two-night extravaganza spanning uh, the 26th and the 29th, taking place on Raw and SmackDown. SmackDown, the draft to shake things up across the uh, main roster in NXT uh, with talents from both brands. So it goes on to say, um, goes on to say here, looks like they are having, um, you know, of course, AJ Styles and Cody Rhodes to sign their contracts. And then uh, looks like Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, The New Day, Sheamus, Bronx Reed, The Miz, Kaden Carter, Katana Chance, and several others will be on SmackDown this week. You guys also, man, y'all heard <laughs> my guy Swerve has won the AEW World Championship. He's one of the first African Americans AEW World Champions, and that was just a phenomenal, you know, that was just phenomenal to um, have him to win the big one, man. I mean... I mean, I never thought it would come true. I don't know. I always thought that he was going to have one match with Samoa Joe, a one-on-one, -on -one, lose it, then come back again, you know, probably um, in a month or two and then win it. But he won it last night, you guys. That was a, definitely another incredible thing as well. Um, Brian Danielson uh, did fight. Um, uh, Will Ospreay, you guys. And they said it was kind, it was kind of scary uh, about we all, you know, about what happened because when uh, Brian, uh, Dian <laughs> I keep calling him Daniel Bryan, you guys, but Brian Danielson, um, I think when I think he got dropped on his neck uh, by Will Osprey, I believe it was, and uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you guys, but uh, he got dropped really hard. I think it was I can't remember what move it was, but. Uh, but it was something like he kind of folded him back and then like dropped his man on the back of his neck. So yeah, uh, Daniel Bryan definitely does need to go ahead and retire from professional wrestling uh, for sure. Uh, let's see here. I think that's all the I think that's all the news that I have for you guys today. I know it's been a, a short eight minute video. Um, oh wait, wait, wait. Mark Henry defends um, Swerve's momentum as he won the uh, world title and everything. Uh, so, so looks like, um, you guys, I'm gonna drop the link down below, um, about this where, um, where Mark Henry, you know, has the busted open, uh, radio podcast thing going on. And so I definitely want you guys to check it out. So check down below for description. But anyways, you guys, that is it for this video. Like, comment, and subscribe to Chris Wrestling Views here on YouTube.com. If you're not subscribed, just be sure, be sure to subscribe. And also you guys, um, just be sure to uh, subscribe to Wrestling Pit Podcast, you guys, here well, here on YouTube.com as well. Um, and yeah, so definitely um, like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up, whatever have you. I appreciate all the support you guys are giving. Road to uh, 50,000 subscribers. I'm almost there, you guys, by a tad bit. I think I'm at like 47 or 48 right now, but I'm almost there. You guys keep pushing. I'm gonna keep pushing out short videos. If I don't make short, if I don't make long videos, 
I'll be making short videos, but be sure to uh, like, comment, subscribe here to Chris Wrestling Views on YouTube.com. If you're watching this on TikTok, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Chris Wrestling Views. That's Chris with a K, Wrestling Views. Peace out, you guys.